The first part of this video is going to show you how to program your new timer. Later in the video, we'll discuss how the timer functions, give some troubleshooting tips, and show how to connect multiple lights to the timer. The first step in programming your timer is to set the time of day. You do that by pressing and holding the gear button until 12H or 24H appears, and then release the button. 12H and 24H are the settings for how the time of day will be displayed. Use the up and down buttons to change it. 12H will display the time of day in AM and PM. 24H will display the time of day in what is typically called military time, so 5 o'clock PM will be 1700 hours. For our purposes, we are going to use 12H. After you've selected which method the time of day will be displayed, press the gear button again. Just press it once, do not hold it down. Now the time of day hours will flash. Use the up and down button to set the current hours. It is important to set the AM and PM correctly. You can see over here that the display indicates PM, or it displays nothing. AM is blank and PM is displayed. Each time the hours reach 12 o'clock, the AM or PM will change. For our purposes, we are going to set our hours at 10 o'clock AM. Once the hours are set, press the gear button one more time and minutes will be flashing. Set the minutes to the correct time of day. Press the gear button once again and your time and day is set. The next step is to set the on time and off time. To do that, press the gear button once and you'll notice the words day plus L on are flashing. When they are flashing, press the gear button and hold it until on starts flashing, then release. Press the gear button one more time and now you can set the on time hours. Once again, if you want your light to come on in the morning, make sure it doesn't say PM. We will set our timer to come on at 6 o'clock in the morning. Once on time hours are set, press the gear button to set the on time minutes. One more press of the gear button takes you to off hours. Be sure that when you set off time hours, the PM is displaying if you want the light to turn off in the evenings. Continue as before for minutes. Once minutes are set, press the gear button for the last time. Your timer is now programmed. Let's talk a little bit about function. We set the timer so that the lights will come on at 6 o'clock a.m., but it will only start to come on. At 6 o'clock a.m., the light will slowly ramp from 0% brightness to 100% brightness over the next 20 minutes. It's important to know that for most of the ramping time, your eyes will not be able to detect just how bright the light is or notice it getting brighter. But trust me, it is. If the timer is set to turn off the light at 8 o'clock p.m., that means at 7.40 it's going to start dimming from 100% brightness down to 0%. It will reach 0% at 8 o'clock p.m. Now let's talk about the power button. Under normal operation, there is never a reason to use this button, so I'd recommend that you don't. When pressed once, it will display the percent of brightness that the light is currently at. You can see that the light is on at 100%. You can change the brightness with the up and down buttons, but I recommend that you don't. It will just change back to 100% during the next day's on cycle. If you press the button again, the lights will go off, even though according to the settings it should be on. It is now in manual mode and will stay off until you put it back into timer mode. You do this by pressing the power button again, then letting this mode time out. After a few seconds, it will go back to time of day and the timer will function as you have programmed it to. If your timer is not working the way you want it to, there are a few things to check. The most common problem is that your AM and PMs are not set correctly. Most often what happens is that your on time will be 6 o'clock AM and your off time will also be 6 o'clock AM instead of PM, so the light never comes on. The other common error is that your time of day is not set correctly. It will be 10 o'clock in the morning, but the time of day is set to 10 o'clock p.m., so your light won't be on when you want it to be. Many times, people may think that the dimming feature is not working when actually it is, 
because it just happens without them noticing it. To test that the ramping sequences are working properly, set the time of day to one or two minutes into the on cycle. You can see that the light came on, but it's not very bright. If we change the time of day a little further along in the on cycle, you'll see it get brighter. The timer is functioning properly. Thank you for watching and never hesitate to call customer support if there are any questions or issues.